early morning, serpent eagles and egrets soar across the sky as always. Across the woods, some blue-gray and reddish-brown. The solid and neat structures, enhanced by the surrounding woods, display simplicity, stability, and grandeur. Amid tranquility and serenity, Dharma Drum Mountain was created with the Chan spirit, modern Buddhist architecture to last over 1,000 years. Located in Jinshan Township, Taipei County, Dharma Drum Mountain lies on a hillside where the coastal and Yangjin highways meet. Surrounded by mountains, embraced by two brooks, it overlooks hill upon hill and a distant emerald bay. From a bird's eye view, the hillside resembles a drum lying on its side. So, inspired by a metaphor, beating the Dharma drum from the Lotus Sutra, Master Sheng Yen joyfully named it Dharma Drum Mountain. We've awaited this place for so long. Now at last, we've begun construction here. What is rare is that, despite such a long wait, this place still remains so beautiful, so intact. So we dearly cherish this plot of land. We hope that when the construction is complete, the complex will look as if it has grown from the soil without ruining the natural landscape. This reflects our ideal to stress environmental protection and value nature, and we should uphold these principles. After 16 years of hard work, Dharma Drum Mountain World Center for Buddhist Education was inaugurated in October 2005. The complex has several major buildings. Building 1, Building 2, the Nuns' Quarters, the Meditation Center, the Staff and Guest Dormitory, the Education and Administration Building, and the Monks' Quarters. The wall's green amphibolites contrast beautifully with the woods. The terracotta of the rectangular tiles closely resembles the color of the soil. Viewed from afar, the buildings blend in harmoniously with the surrounding landscape. Based on the master's idea, no more than three color series were used for the exterior look, mainly brown, gray, and white. The colors of the earth were applied to fit in with nature. We used ecological engineering to blend into the environment, showing modesty with an all-embracing openness. Simplicity, practicality, and easy maintenance have always been principles for Dharma Drum Mountain's construction projects, aiming for a natural, simple, serene, easy, and relaxing feel. The wish-fulfilling Guanyin Hall in Building 2 is the first stop that greets visitors and also serves as the reception for spiritual practices. 
Actually, we were inspired by the Master. He kept reminding us that all things should start with their essence. Originally, the wish-fulfilling Guanyin Hall was to be built at the foot of a slope. After some thought, we suggested moving up the slope, making use of natural light and drainage. The biggest difference here, from most temples in enshrining Buddha or Bodhisattva images, is that instead of a traditional styled wall or votive lights, we left the wall transparent, allowing the sunlight in. And the drainage of the slope provides a cascade of water. So, by making use of this waterscaping and natural light, we tried to express the intimacy between humanity and the universe in a distinctive way. So, it's easier for visitors to settle the mind and feel calm and cheerful. The natural environment may seem constant, but it's actually changing all the time, like one wave after another, never stopping for a moment. In the wish-fulfilling Guanyin Hall, we can imagine ourselves as Guanyin Bodhisattva, standing on the island of humanity listening compassionately to a myriad voices, ceaselessly. The design for the ceiling imitates the glistening waves reflecting the sunlight. The plaque inscription, entering the stream where objects are renounced, refers to the Guanyin method of complete penetration through hearing. For example, caring for and listening to suffering while unattached to the sights and sounds of the world. Another marvel of the Guanyin Hall is the crystal clear pool in the front courtyard, surrounded by a colonnade. Walking around it along the colonnade, we see silent, ever-changing ripples when there is a breeze. It reminds us of a poem by Zhu Xi, a Song Dynasty scholar. A square pond, open like a mirror, reflects both the sky and clouds. Why is it so pristine? for there's water flowing fresh from its source. This is a place of calm and cool. It enables visitors to let go of anxieties naturally and quietly and joyfully appreciate the snowy clouds floating in the blue sky. Looking out from the viewing platform over the Jinshan Plain and the distant hills under the vast blue sky, our vision and mind will suddenly expand. The Grand Buddha Hall in the center of the complex is the mountain's center for Dharma practice and propagation. It is solemn and majestic in appearance. On each side of the hall stand 10 columns forming a circular colonnade Steady and all-embracing, it greets every visitor who comes to us. Dharma Drum Mountain is a spiritual practice center. The master asked us to bear the following in mind, to keep the design low-key so that it would look like something grown from the soil. Once we learned that a Dharma center should be simple, many of the original complicated designs were simplified one by one. We removed all superfluous architectural vocabulary because visitors would feel less attached to a simpler design. We all know most temples are decorated with ornate carvings and paintings. But during our initial design stage, the master told us that, in fact, only Ming and Qing dynasty architecture featured these. So we look back to the Tang and Song periods. The style then was actually simpler. For example, there was the Xieshan style, gable and hip roofing in our architectural history. And this we adopted with four slopes in the Xieshan style. But we used copper roof tiles. The gutters were built at the rear. We incorporated a cloister element. On top of its columns, we added some architectural vocabulary, similar to the bucket arch, the simpler kind. This way, we show that despite using modern engineering technology, we also adopt some ancient architectural vocabulary. This allows us to feel that this too forms the monastery architecture.
Inside the Buddha Hall, the simple, clear and vast space evokes a feeling of calm and stability. As we silently and humbly receive the spirituality of great saints, our minds open up and expand. Even a moment of tranquility is an opportunity for a sudden rendezvous with our original nature. The architecture features simple, powerful lines and subdued colors. For instance, the simple square lines under the eaves, some rails, and the lattice-styled low walls and window lattices all owe to the Chinese wisdom of partitioning, suggesting emptiness amid existence. The exterior of the buildings is consistent in hue and shows the beauty of unity. The architectural features reflect the Chen spirit of Dharma Drum Mountain. The beauty of its architecture is not to be appreciated merely from its appearance. Inside and outside the buildings, at any turn and in any space, visitors feel calm and orderliness, as well as the dynamic vivacity there. Chan is everywhere in our life. We are mindful of walking when we walk with steady steps. Places for practice are wherever we set foot. The change of light and shade allows unexpected experience of the space's beauty. What is unchanging is the tranquility, peace and harmony here. Every corner can be a stop to adjust the breathing consciously and experience the present, enjoying the relaxation of the body and mind. The meditation center beside the Grand Buddha Hall is the prime venue for Chan practice, also called the Buddha Selection Place, suggesting singling out of mental afflictions where each person can discover his own Buddha nature. The wisdom of the Dharma has been with us for over 2,000 years, but environmentalism did not emerge until recently. It is due to the revenge of nature and the damage caused by our material consumption. When natural equilibrium is lost, it will naturally fight back. So Master Shen Yen quoted a line from the Diamond Sutra, abiding nowhere, give rise to the mind. What he wanted to convey to us is the very core of Chan Buddhist thought. Based on this concept, we return to a natural state, a most natural state without interfering. So we very much emphasize that the entire surroundings must be designed so as not to disturb Chan practice. The most obvious choice is to revert to the use of natural materials such as wood, rock, or bamboo. Besides, we tried to create a tranquil atmosphere required for reverting to a state of emptiness. So I personally feel that rather than a spatial design, it is more of a temporal design, which allows us to experience over time all things and all states. Stepping out of the Chan Hall, changing to applying pure wisdom and a mind of no self to view all worldly phenomena, one can then discern what to do and what path to take in life. Walk amid the buildings, savor the purity of a rainy day, the calm of a cloudy day, and the brightness of a sunny day. The vast complex was constructed and completed just to inspire an appreciation of life's vicissitude of weather. Dharma Drum Mountain's architecture displays modest, natural, practical, yet liberal aesthetics of Chan. The greatest inspiration it offers Taiwanese architects is that the highest ideal of architecture is to uplift spirituality. Sun sets. The moon rises from behind the hills. 
Dharma Drum Mountain's buildings don't vie for brilliance with the moon. At night, even without lamplight, by following the familiar voice in our heart, we can still know our way and locate Guanin Bodhisattva. With a tranquil mind, all our eyes take in is abundantly wonderful.